What up, hotheads? I'm Henry, and this is Blaze the Roof. This week, we'll be reviewing a sauce named 13 Angry Scorpions Jekyll and Hyde. The company is called 13 Angry Scorpions. I wonder if it's a play off of 12 Angry Men. The company was founded in 2017 by founder Patrick Beresford, I guess, who, who was dealing with chronic pain from a spinal injury, and so he kind of just focused on making hot sauces, and lo and behold, he started this company. So uh, it worked out pretty well for him. I mean, to get featured on Hot Ones, that's pretty good, right? And this also includes many awards. I mean, he's won Scobie's uh, World Championship in Louisiana and many other awards. So uh, this sauce in particular has won a few. This is totally by accident. It's actually out of the same city as last week's sauce. This is totally unplanned. It just happened this way. I don't have, uh, I don't have a hard on for Brisbane or Brizzy, uh, so we've covered most of that already uh, last week. So I won't bore you with the details. If you're really that interested, go watch last week's episode. Let's look at the packaging. This uh, wrap that you got here, it's got one of these tabs where I guess you rip it open and it cuts the the paper, which is interesting. It's a little fancier than what you usually see. Uh, there is a gold sticker up top which says, ah, 13AS, 13 Angry Scorpions. That's pretty cool. I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh, on here has the, the awards that this sauce has won. And the cover itself is interesting. So the, the logo is the 13 Angry Scorpions, mostly block letters. Uh, and then you got the scorpion with the silhouette of a pepper behind it. There's all sorts of splatter shot. And then on off to the sides, you see some really uh, interesting drawings of, of some dudes there. There's a lot going on in this <laughs> this label. It does say freakishly hot. The color is tripping me out because in this bottle, it looks... I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a deep red. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Well, let's look at the ingredients now. So the ingredients include aged Maruga scorpion peppers, smoked red jalapenos, spices, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, onion, lemon juice, garlic, and ginger. The ingredient I'd like to talk about here is actually jalapenos, which I've gone 162 episodes without using jalapenos. I've done chipotle, but that's slightly different. So jalapenos originated in Mexico. When they are dried and smoked, they become chipotle. So anytime you see chipotle, it's just smoked jalapeno. In the U.S., the primary states that grow jalapenos are New Mexico, Texas, and California. Jalapenos have the distinction of being the only pepper ever taken out into outer space. To find the hotter jalapenos, they actually have a tell to them. The more striations you see on the outside, those striations are correlated with the heat inside. When they are fully ripe, usually when you see them in the stores, they're not entirely ripe. That might be because maybe longer shelf life, so they get to sell more of the product. Uh, however, sauce makers will typically want to go with the red one, which is the ripest. The name jalapeno actually originated from the city that they were cultivated from, which is Jalapa, spelled with an X. And uh, they are a good source of iron, magnesium, fiber, vitamin A, and much, much more. Before we get any further, let's hear from this week's sponsor. Are you one of those people who need 4 billion alarms to wake up in the morning? Consider this the solution to your problems. The alarm bed will jolt you awake literally. Set the alarm, and when it goes off, you'll be yeeted from bed. No snooze, so you don't lose. There's no way for you to stay in bed now, lazy ass. Not recommended for couples that are not on the same sleep schedule, unless you hate one another. The Alarm Bed. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Now for the moment of truth. It sure looks like barbecue sauce. You smell the peppers, not too much of the vinegar. This does clock in at 109,000, so it is gonna pack a punch. Should be in the heavyweight range, so it might burn my ass quite a bit. 
But like this shit, because of the, I guess the chipotle, right? Just looks like barbecue sauce. Probably not gonna do a full spoonful. It's a rather thick sauce. It is a deep red. So it looks like barbecue sauce. This does have Maruga Scorpion, my nemesis. So let's just see what this does. Cheers. S slow, steady burn. Why was I not anticipating that sweetness? All right, so it is hot. Oh, it's still rising on the back of the tongue. Um, Because it's smoked, I think the chipotle. Uh, there's a little bit of burn on the tip of the tongue as well. I did hear that this is described as a barbecue sauce. And it is sweet like one. So it's like a barbecue sauce with like uh, some balls behind it. Or if you want to put it on your chosen barbecue, this is probably the way to go. It is not quite a heavyweight. It's an upper middle weight. Not even quite like as heavy as like these light heavyweights that I had the past few weeks. But the flavor, <laughs> like I say, it's, it's sweet. It's got this slow burn. It's got the smokiness at the beginning. Definitely has a lot of, a ton of flavor. And because of the smokiness, what would I put this on? Anything barbecue. Anything that you smoked. Uh, except for like smoked salmon, right? <laughs> That's just a weird combination. But I'm saying like smoked meats, ribs, you know, shit, smoked, even like a, a, a grilled lamb. <laughs> I, I just think this is good, good with any, even chicken. Anything that's been grilled or smoked, put on a, uh, cooked on a grill, this is the perfect, perfect sauce for it. You know, I used to put uh, seafood gourmet uh, reaper sauce on barbecue, but this one might supplant that docs fusion sauce is also right up there but i tell you there's something about this sauce this is uh, <laughs> i would still buy regular barbecue sauce right this by itself might be really good on ribs but in conjunction with another barbecue sauce it's a perfect compliment to it uh, it's tremendous and if i could get this stateside i mean i was able to buy it through through heatonist but if i'm able to this might be a regular rotation sauce it's that good so it's definitely a buy for me i, I it's Great sauce. I could see why it won so many awards. Yeah, not disappointed. I thought it would come with the heat. I thought the heat would be a little bit more intense, but the heat was enough. It was good. <laughs> Again, not for your lightweight people. This is something that's pretty uh, pretty heavy. So it does pack a punch. But if you're working your weight from middle sauces to higher up super hots, this is a perfect segue to that. Phenomenal job. Damn. Australia's put out some really good sauces. Next week, I'll be reviewing a sauce named Pucker Butts Voodoo Prince Death Mambo. If she doesn't chicken out, I should be joined by my friend Jekka, who's a character and a very lovely young lady. So hopefully she'll be joining us next week. If not, well, then I'll just suffer by myself. But until then, I'm Henry, and remember, spice up your life. Take care.